Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sacramento and welcome back to Dynamite, one of the greatest tag teams in the world, Dex and Cash F.T. This past Sunday of Revolution, it was a very unexpected return after the conclusion of the AEW World Tag Team Championship four-way match. And Tez, Dax and Cash landed the chatter machine on the guns. And I think I have a pretty good idea of what they're gonna come out here and say, but I'd like to hear them say it for themselves. Well, absolutely. They sent a direct message to the champions directly to them, the chatter machine. Yeah, I'll tell you, it's great to see FTR back here, in my opinion, in AEW. Shocked everybody at Revolution in San Francisco. And folks here in Sacramento seem pumped up that Dax and Cash are back in the house. None more so than the great Tony Schiavone. He's beaming. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it's great to see you back here on Dynamite. And I saw at Revolution, you guys, you guys came in here with a purpose, guys. Yeah, you're gonna have to speak up, Tony. Well deserve it, buddy. Good to have you back. Woo! I missed that. So we said over and over again how great 2022 was for us, but right now I want to talk about how bad the last few months have been. Yeah, they have. They have. Let's, we lost to the acclaimed. We lost to the guns. We lost three sets of tag titles in roughly a month. <laughs> uh, and then, then we lost one of our best friends in wrestling and the world. Uh, and <laughs> we love you. But we knew we needed to step away. We needed, we, we know we needed to take a breath and we needed to recharge. But. I, Right now, I, I cannot sit at home in good conscience and watch Austin and Colton Gunn call themselves the best tag team in wrestling. Yes, you boys are good. Yes, you boys are the current AEW Tag Team Champions, and yes, you are the future of the Tag Team Division. But you're also spoiled, entitled, disrespectful little assholes. Your father gave you everything you could ever ask for. He gave you everything, every advantage. And my father could never give me that. He couldn't give me a private education. He couldn't give me a job with the best wrestling company in the world. But what he taught me was how to fight and how to be respectful. And I'm gonna teach everything my father taught you to you boys like Daddy Ass should have. So, uh, I, you know, I've come out here and I've talked about how much I care about my wife and my daughter, but I, I want to switch gears and talk about somebody else I care about. And that's all of y'all. In a time where I felt I was incapable of being loved, you never left us. In a time I felt that I was incapable of being loved, professional wrestling never left us. And that's why I love this industry so much. And this ain't a, hey, this ain't a rah-rah, babyface, yay me speech, okay? But damn it, man, I love y'all too. <laughs> December, the, December we closed the book on the greatest. December, we closed the book on the greatest trilogy of matches we've ever had in our career. And even though we didn't win that night, I knew, we knew we did something special for this business. But that feeling was taken away from us. It was taken away from us by you, Guns. 
the last memory I have with one of my best friends in this industry was taken away from me by you. And I'll never forget it. Now it's time for retribution, okay? Now it's time for retribution. Now it's time to get even. And it would be easy. It would be easy to fight you and beat your ass. That would be easy. But we got to hit you where it hurts. Now we got to beat you. And we got to finally become the AEW World Tag Team Champions. We got to do it. We got to do it for us. We gotta do it for the Briscoes, and we gotta do it for all of y'all. Top guys, out.